up YouTube, Borderlands850 here and today I am going to show you guys how to factory restore or factory reset, however you want to say it, an ASUS notebook. Now this it should work for any ASUS laptop you have, but um, if you have any other laptops besides an ASUS, then you shouldn't be watching this video because I don't know if this works on any other laptop and I don't want you to try and blame it on me for your like if it doesn't work if it messes up your laptop so I just hope that this doesn't mess up your laptop make sure that it's an ASUS notebook any sort of laptop okay so this is what we're gonna do just turn off your laptop okay and like wait like a couple seconds or a couple minutes or whichever one you prefer okay now you're gonna click the power button okay but once you click the power button you're gonna constantly click F9 okay so just get your probably try to get your fingers in that position okay just gonna do exactly what I do okay you're gonna click F9 hold up F9 and then click F9. I mean, turn on the power, then click F9 constantly. See how it says how I'm clicking F9 and the power is on. Okay, so usually when you do this, the screen starts and it starts with Windows normally. When you do it this way, this screen should pop up. Okay, Windows 7. Okay, and it has all that. Okay, so what we are gonna do is click Tab. Okay, now specifically in the end options for this thing. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna click F8. Okay. The thing like right next to F9, you're gonna click F8. Okay. Now this should happen, and this screen should pop up, and that says repair your computer, and it says safe mode, safe mode, with networking, all this. Okay, whatever. Blah 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 blah. What you're gonna do? You're gonna click repair your computer. You're gonna click enter. Okay. And this is happening. It says Windows is loading files. It's loading the files. Okay. This takes like a couple seconds depending on your laptop. Like I said. Okay. See now this should pop up. Microsoft Corporations. Okay, now it's just continuously loading. Alright. So now I'm just gonna like skip you guys to the part where it should pop up. Okay guys, um here we go. Now this this screen should pop up this should be the first thing that pops up on your screen after you do exactly what I just told you. Because it's system recovery options, okay? So that's one step to knowing that you're doing the right thing, okay? Now you choose your language, like I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna click English. Okay, then you're gonna use keyboard input method. Just through US, you can click over here to choose all these, but I'm just gonna click US, okay? If you don't know what that means, don't mess with it, okay? You're gonna click next. Okay, now the screen should be loaded. Now this should pop up, okay? Um, system recovery options. To access recovery options, log on as your local user. Now, the only reason why if this screen pops up for me is because my my local user that I use, or one of my accounts for the screen, has a password. So this is going to pop up, okay? But if you have, like, multiple ones that doesn't have passwords, you could choose that one, but I'm going to choose this one, okay? Okay, there you go. You're going to click okay. Okay, now this is gonna pop up. Okay, so this should basically be exactly what you're looking for. You're gonna choose exactly which one. See, you choose a recovery tool. You can to start up a pair, system restore, um, system image recovery, system memory, diagnostics, and command prompt. Okay, now all you gotta do is just choose which one you prefer. Okay, and there you go, YouTube. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and please subscribe. Thank you.